Hello, this is Eric Sloof over at NTPro.nl and you're watching my iPad and in this video I'm going to show you which new cool app VMware launched today. So you already see the icon right here, the VMware View Client and when you first start up your View Client after downloading it from the iTunes web store for free then you have the option to put in servers and I already configured my connection server and once you have selected your connection server it will make a connection with your uh, connection server and show you the available virtual machines so I have three virtual machines entitled to my user account which I used to log on and I'm selecting one of those virtual machines VM it's available and uh, the view client will make a connection with the virtual desktop and it's running the PC over IP protocol. So that's real great because even if you are using Wi-Fi you will get a nice uh, screen and nice colors and everything. So the connection is established. Uh, I'm running on my iPad the view client and I have a connection with my virtual machine running Windows 7. So to make it easier to work with Windows on an iPad VMware has uh, put in some additional utilities to, uh, to help you with uh, working on the iPad and those additional utilities are available right here under this menu option. So there is for instance a touchpad and it's similar to a touchpad you uh, already may have available on your normal laptop so when I'm using the touchpad I can move my mouse around in Windows and I can also emulate a left click or a right click. So in this case I'm going to start the calculator and you can do a, a left click and a right click uh, just as easy as you would do it on a normal touchpad. So another great thing about this uh, client is that it's also offering the normal native keyboard of the iPad. So you see here the normal native keyboard. <coughs> My magnifier is running. And there is a magnifier in it also. And uh, there are also some finger tricks. So when I put my three fingers on the screen it will appear or disappear the keyboard. So that's real cool. Uh, one other option uh, I would like to show you is that there is a special uh, floating keyboard available for emulating page up and page down and home and your cursor keys so if you are scrolling through a PDF document you can always use those keys to go to the next page and back uh, one last thing I want to show you is that you can select multiple objects within uh, within your explorer so when I'm going to my my computer for instance and I want select I want to select multiple files I can just drag a rectangle around those files. So if I want to uh, when I'm going to internet connections and I want to select multiple files you see here you can select multiple objects and there's even a possibility to emulate a right mouse click. So hold your one finger down and click and point your other finger next to it. It doesn't always work but this time it works. So you can see the properties of my folder right here. So uh, this menu option uh, you can also uh, uh, set the transparency and there are some, yeah, we already covered the touchpad, the keyboard, uh, we can disconnect and there is a nice help and the help will show you how to click, how to secondary click, so one finger down, the other next to it, how to drag and drop, how to fire up the keyboard board with three fingers and how to do some accurate dragging and scrolling and of course the touchpad. So go to the iTunes store and download the new view client VMware view client and you can run Windows on your iPad. That's it for now. Have fun. Bye bye. This is Eric Sloof signing off.